Hello guys, we have another island tour and this is very special because it is my mom's island and her island is a vintage cluttered island. You can see by this flyover, I'm really excited. I have not seen it. Um, she's been hiding it from me for a long time, but this time we're gonna tour it. And there she is. I see so many gifts. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm here. I did a Victorian outfit, like a vintage outfit. I just wanna say this map is really pretty. It's stunning. It has like a little cottage on it. And I'm just gonna check the map first of all. So this is Honeyberry, and then we have Susie, that's my mom. Then she has Linguini and Calliope. Ooh, okay. And then these are her villagers, very good villagers. I like, um, the map has a lot of water. So at the campsite right there, there's like a river surrounding everything. I can't wait to see that terraforming. So this is Honeyberry. And then here is my mom, and here we go. A lot of gifts, man. Oh, drop. No. She gave me a beautiful statue. Awesome, man. Antique burrow. Yes, thank you. Amazing painting. Solemn painting. Thanks. Gold nuggets. Thank you so much. Maracas, which that's literally so cute. I already had one, but this is a robust statue. Oh my gosh, and more gold, gold nuggets. Why do I keep on dropping them? And here's a gallant statue. We have a Nook Ink handheld pennant. Oh my gosh. Literally keep on dropping it. A va valiant statue. That is awesome. Thank you so much for the gift. I brought you a backup. So here is your gift right here. This is the entrance, and wow. I'm blown away with that bridge right there. In the entrance. I've never actually seen anyone do that bridge. I'm going to take a picture right now because it is stunning. I can't really get a good shot. I'm gonna actually go over here. Oh my gosh, you can't even see it that much, but it's like a little bridge in the entrance. I really admire that. So yeah, let's let her lead us. And this little tunnel, little writing area. Ooh, we stepped right into a cafe love the code there's like the little greenery with the this is the morning coffee i think that's the house right there yeah this is definitely a cafe and has a lot of nice codes used i love the lights and the tea fortune cookie cart so this is a cafe you can sit here i think that this is a villager's house this is raymond's house there's a typewriter very scholastic area. Ooh, I really like this. Nice seating area by the fire. Raymond's library. And you can write here too. Yep, very nice. M mushroom. Down into the beach we go. This is like a little workbench. I don't know what this is. Mm, let me see. Boho Beach. Nice. You can sit here, hang out with your friends. Nice. I love how it's like overgrown. Ooh, look at that turtle. Ooh, look at this drum. Boom, boom. Let's get it. Oh, can't do it now. And this night, yes, I see that the turtle is really cute. It's so sad because you could literally sit on him. 
Let me sit on him. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. He likes it. Yes. Okay, this is like really cool. It's from the new update. Very nice. I think it has lights. Ooh, music. And she has the pathway. The dirt path. Ooh, nice seeing area. Ooh, love the food. The food, it looks so good. This is like a little homework study area. And a mini tree. Nice. Ooh. I actually like am really getting the cluttered look of the island. It looks so full and super detailed. This is like a cool parasol little picnic area. <gasps> Pearl. Ooh, I see a fish market. Wow, look at this cool fish on display. Oh my gosh, this is like a restaurant. What is- ooh. Okay, yeah, that's the Thanksgiving table. I love this restaurant on the beach. Ooh, wow. It's a seafood restaurant. There's like pearls dropped everywhere. This is like such a detailed island. I really am blown away by the amount of time and details she puts into her builds. Diana's house. And this lantern. Which I said it was ugly, but this color is better. I have a blue one. And it's not that cute, but this is Diana's relaxation spot. Look at Gulliver. No one invited him. Fishing spot. Looks awesome. It's 6.48 a.m. What a perfect time to visit an island. Looks so cool. I want to jump in this ocean. It looks so cool. Nice dock. I've never even decorated my dock. Like, I've never done that. I need to do that. What is this? Little, ooh, I love this little casual restaurant over here. It looks awesome. I love how minimalistic it is. And it has like two benches. As there are your little spices. That's really interesting. I've never seen a setup like this using just two little benches. Oh my gosh, this little statue, I do not have it. But yeah, we have a well. Ooh. Little, oh yeah, that's the same one. I really love this mushroom. Wow, man, this island is detailed. Look at this cute little destination signpost. It looks like cool in the middle of this circle. I love this. Oh, I see the owl up there. My mom loves owls. So she has that QR code. A little clock store. A clock store. What? It's a clock. Okay. Hi, this is a clock store. I've never seen one in my life but it's a great idea. And it looks like a vintage shop. So that is awesome. So that is a very cool idea. Here's like a bucket being filled up. And she has the puddle code. That's awesome, that's a clock store. Boom, boom. little study area, writing, again with this parasol, really cool, it's really tall, and there's a dog, afternoon reading, I see this little champagne glass, nice, and ooh, I think this is like a little market area, look at that, those apples, we got watermelons, we've got this the turkey day, vegetables, we got the scale, that's cool. Like, using the stall and then displaying a bunch of fruit is like a 
market that's like that's how you make a market and we'll go on to the beach little flowers on the ground add some detail nice Ooh, little relax relaxation spa I wonder who's um the oh chevre okay this is chevre spa very nice I love the mushroom no I love the bamboo partitions look awesome very nice wow oh seating area with the mushroom table right next to the beach this is where you sew this is where you sew and there's like a little sewing box I love th oh man I should have closed that Rawr. Rawr. this is a cute lantern with a code on it Ooh, yes I knew that that was definitely a seating area for older people sitting on this rocking chair music playing a lot of books cute a little fishing spot um does anyone else see that fish on its side is there is he just swimming that way <gasps> oh good okay yeah he's not on his side okay i was worried about the fish this is the strawberry farm cute literally so cute i love strawberry farms and i need to do it and it looks amazing it looks like real strawberries that's definitely one of my favorite parts of this island it just looks so cute i love this desk too super nice Ooh, got a little restaurant going on and ooh, rustic dining love that rustic restaurant these little church benches are so cool my favorite color is the brown one like this this one is so cool Ooh, we got a pumpkin farm a watermelon farm and a cabbage and ooh, we also have corn over here we got some mushrooms this is awesome i love this farming area definitely fitting to put a rustic restaurant right here here's like the little kitchen wow this island is incredible i'm actually i don't have any words this is a very awesome island nice little table um oh nice i love that that's a barn a barn right here i'm gonna get a better look nice oh yes that is awesome um yes perfect all right i'm gonna take a picture hello no this way please okay 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 one two okay wait wait boom got it all right i'm so sorry for hogging up the tour i just needed a really good picture of that barn Ooh, painting nice that is such a cool painting and it seems like a little waiting area this is a garden deck nice yeah this little iron garden furniture is very fitting for a rainbow garden this is the rainbow garden i have seen this before she showed me this and i saw it it was really interesting because she not only put rainbow flowers and plants she put like items so she put red items here orange she put like a blue so that was really creative and yeah it looks really whimsical so this is a rainbow garden Ooh. Right here we got a building. 
orchard orchid mantis is stunning it is a very cool in insect gnome 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 flowers painting area i see that let's go to that mini tree Ooh, i see a little antique shop or market hello may you please oh yeah pretty view of the barn okay this is actually a better view of the barn uh yes in the distance you can see it Ooh, it might be a good picture for the thumbnail um that's a good picture it shows like a lot of things i'm gonna take a picture of this too all right and then here's like a painting area which is stunning maple's honey store what about oh what about this stuff up here boy we're gonna skip it i think there's probably another entrance maple's house is right here oh wow fitting this is so fitting for her first of all i love these rain boots that is so cute there's a little umbrella of a bear and here's maple's honey store that's so cute i love that and it's a bee farm and ooh, love that qr code of the honey it looks delicious <gasps> look at that orange it's stuck in between the panel and here is a bee farm nice we've got a picnic area and this is the orchard little orchard nice like okay so she literally just has one tree of each fruit and it really does look good i definitely downsized my orchard too i used to have like a huge orchard and it was just unnecessary I, it was just taking up too much and i downsized so this my mom literally only has one one tree of each fruit which is an option if you like that so this is a graveyard right here okay right next to the ocean very peaceful way to spend your days or your after days i don't know and i love these white flowers mm, love this this is stunning i'm sorry i need i need to stop right here and take a picture um oh yeah boom all right and i'm ready nobody said to sit nobody told you to do that rock garden up ahead Ooh. one two three four one rock is missing one two three four one two three four five six we need we have six i think but i don't know where this one went where did it go look at this it's a spot for a rock and it's missing <gasps> one rock is missing where did it go tell me tell me where it is here's a little grave this is a villager's house and it oh nice i love that i was like checking like is it too much that you can't even walk through it and you can literally walk through everything that's impressive thank you cluttered islands still need to be functional so that's really impressive for a restaurant like i'm saying this food is like on another level look how good that looks and are those shrimps they are massive they are monster shrimps this is like a little kitchen really love this um whose house is this Bo. Bo is well loved. Yeah, he, he's got his own restaurant. Pirate. <laughs> Ooh, Rock. Oh. I really did call him Rock. His name is Red. Red's area is nice. Very hidden. Ooh, Red's beach. Okay. Love this little log 
log bench. I feel like I'm talking too low. I need to project my voice more. Okay, let's try to sound louder. Um, secret garden for Poppy. Yes, love this. A little secret garden. Nice. I can I can definitely tell. Definitely, you go over here. English style garden. So this is Poppy's house, and you go over here. Flowers everywhere. This is very whimsical. I always think it's so whimsical when people use this little tea set because it just looks so cool and magical. Oh, I love this fountain. That's very appropriate for for a secret garden and a dog. Dog. Dog with the butter. <laughs> Stop it. It is not the time for jokes. You are on a tour. This is the afternoon coffee shop. Brown. The brown iron furniture set is really pretty. And yes, this is a ca- yeah, this is the cafe- wait, is this the cafe that we- no. I'm sorry, that did not make sense. So this is like a cafe. And, um, let's just stop for a moment and appreciate this espresso maker. I know that you guys don't have that. I don't have that either. I might have it now. She might have let me catalog it. But that is the most stunning color for an espresso maker. I just Honestly, if you don't have that, I think I'm, I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna check really quickly if I have it. Oh my gosh, let's see. Come on, please. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh my gosh, it's right there. Wait. Okay, so I have it. It's green. It looks awesome. And if you like it, then you can uh, comment on this video and I will let you catalog it. I'm so sorry for that hold up. But it's just a legendary espresso maker. Ooh, cafe, bakery. Nice. I really like how she really stacked. It's an elegant, elegant bakery. I like how she stacked these little um, cabinets. That's really pretty. This is so pretty. And I love how there's a lot of cakes on display. A bird. An animal. A bird duck it's a pet store i just had i didn't have the words to explain what, what what i wanted nothing came out of my mouth but it is a pet store and there's crickets on sale personally i would buy i would buy the duck what would you buy these stalls the stalls are customized in a green pattern Ooh, this is like the little soil bag this looks so good whenever people put that in plant sections like the iron it looks awesome and here is like an amazing park this is like a little thrift store antique mall yes me and my mom are we love going to antique malls like it is an adventure every time you go you just you don't know what you're gonna find and you don't know what year that what year something is like where where did what year did it come from and it is just such a cool thing that might be like one of my favorite hobbies to do like just go to antique malls and just like shop the stuff there is expensive but it definitely is worth it because it's irreplaceable things but actually not everything is expensive in antique malls it's usually just like the big furniture and that's self-explanatory why it's so expensive. This is a very cool setup. Antique mall. And yeah, this is like the this is the painting class that we saw before. I like this painting better. It looks so cool. I went to an antique shop and I bought a key. I bought a like iron key you know the key i'm talking about the old style keys i just like i love those things i have so many this is seating and i wonder what this 
um, structures. I wonder what the house is. It's a hotel. Oh my gosh. What is this? Blown away. This is like so vintage. This is the reception area. Oh my gosh. Stunning. I'm doing a dark academia island. And this is just so cool. I love this. At the entrance. What? Little food. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love this room. And the wallpaper is so cool. This keys. What? Wow. This is awesome. Okay, so we're going to this room. And we got barn doors. Ooh, a little bow and arrow. There's so many things. And here we got the library. Wait, oh. Oh, yeah, that's me. This is a reading area. Beautiful. My mom was saying how she loved this wallpaper. And yes, it's the hallway wallpaper. So cool. Love that painting. The carpet. Yes. This house looks like it was done by an interior designer. Definitely some inspiration for my island. It's been a challenge to do not do cottage core and to do like a city. And I honestly don't know if I'm that good at it, but it's a challenge, definitely. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. What? I just love the setup in here. This is like so unique. The sinks look so fancy. The tile. Like, I've never seen a bathroom like this. Oh my gosh, with a couch. Come on, let me sit on it. Thank you. This is so cool. Oh my god, there's flowers in the, the toilets. I love this bathroom. What? Got the tissues. Um, excuse me. Goodness gracious, like what? This is very interesting. And super realistic. Um, what? This is a room for couples. Yeah. What? It just looks so realistic. And there is a clawfoot bathtub. And, oh, let me turn that candle on. Thanks. Thanks. Stunning room. I literally don't have words. I, I, like, it's hard to do interiors. It's hard to do exteriors and interiors, and she's just doing both amazing amazingly done dinner and bakery um so many details to unpack first let's start off with the legendary wallpaper that is a game changer it is so pretty it has windows and i really do i love how she put so many different lights on the back and you can actually go in the kitchen you can get these to sell bread the wedding furniture such beautiful designs and I really love the lacy carpets like that is just so cool so that is the dinner and bakery. And let's go upstairs. I don't know what my favorite part of this island has been. This is the family suite. And again, very unique. First of all, she used the brick with the leaves as wallpaper. 
And she definitely has a theme of garden and green. Yes, keep this um, lighting. It looks so relaxing. She's got pops of green and then pops of yellow. So she kept the same color coordinations throughout the whole bedroom. Oh my gosh, I love how she put stalls behind the bed to add more details and to be like a headboard or like a little desk. That is just so cool. I would never want to destroy this island. I don't know how she's going to do that. Is she really going to destroy this island? I don't think that's possible. I, li I think she's going to have to because she loves to build and yeah i think she's gonna have to destroy it but i think that she should keep it for a couple weeks i guess as much as she can i think that that was my favorite part of the island so far that hotel it was just so beautiful more dining a little buffet this is definitely a buffet and bowl and we got a lookout point. Um, hello? The, the hot air balloons. It's a little forest back there. And you see the, the little houses in the distance. Hot air balloons too. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's a good idea too. To put... Oh my gosh, I see a cat right there. Do you see that cat? Please tell me you see it. I see it. It's right next to that, to the left, hot air balloon. Um, that's a good idea to put a little basket. Perspective is very pretty, yes. That's a good, that's a good, um, picture for a thumbnail. Oh, no one wants to use these filters, tell me. Tell me if you've ever used this. These filters are crazy. Ooh, I definitely know what this is. A shoe shining service. Shoe shining service. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get my shoes shined. Actually, I'll get your shoe shined. Yep. Ooh, who's gonna shoe shine here? Let me close that. Let me close it. Okay, and we, oh, tip please, oh, I'll give you all my money. Here is a pottery, and here's a pottery section, it is awesome, and this is the school, let me go ahead and go over here, school setup, nice, that's cool, definitely interesting to see like a different perspective then just like forward like it's definitely to the side and here we got the teacher's desk and then we got papers everywhere we got desks and I know what that section is but I'm gonna go ahead and wait for her to tell us this is pancetti pancetti and here we've got a party venue if you guys did not know which you definitely do not know my mom is a in real life party planner she's an, an event organizer and she does parties this is a birthday party event hall definitely yeah once the once she saw that these balloons were coming she definitely specializes in balloons and decorations for parties so this is like perfect and this is definitely where you come and check in where your party is and the guests sign the guest book i'm a party decorator yes yeah this is definitely fitting so yeah she definitely um specializes in cakes no not cakes the sweets table so like she decorates the sweets table where the cake is gonna be and she does balloons yeah and here's the presents and it's like a fancy little party going on 
Oh my gosh, I see so much down there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I, I don't even use the trophy case down. Like, I see it down there. I need to use it. And she's a painter. Yeah, this is like, this is like, oh my gosh, she definitely does have a lot of dogs on this island. Cute little dog. Ooh, first of all, the green, oh no, the purple hyacinths. The, the, the flower that I've never been able to grow. They are so stunning. This is a grape vineyard. Lavender farm. Okay, yeah. So some people will put them as grapes. This is a lavender farm. I was wrong. I wrongfully judged the lavender farm. And then I see plants. <gasps> stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Plants over here. Plant shop. Um, I did not know that this thing was that big. I've never placed it, I guess. I thought that thing was like mini. But yes, I love that plant setup. Little plant shop. Come this way, please. Mmm, bottle. Bottle. Um, where did she go? Dating and proposal area. Romantic area. Definitely see the roses. Oh, this thing, I want to eat that. Look at that, look at that little box of chocolates. Ooh, romantic music. Very romantic. Let me play something. And this bed, rose bed, um, right next to me. It definitely feels more, it feels less lonely than just one tent. And you have to jump. Ooh, I love the terraforming here. There's a lot of water. And I like how you have to jump. And you got the campsite. Yes. I just want to see who's in the campsite. I'm not going to hog up the door. I'm really not. I'm professional. A uh, tent up there. Hey, hey bed. Come up and explore. Apple orchard. I like apples, I guess. We got apples over here, the trees, and we got the boxes. Okay, so this is definitely a business where they sell apples. This is one of the cutest things ever. This is a cute little apple chair. And I was like, can you even sit on that? Look at this. Can I sit there or am I going to fall off? Apparently you can sit on them. We've got this red mailbox. And we do have a sit seating area. Um... Ooh, apple pie right there. That makes me so hungry. Beautiful house. Love the flooring. My favorite floor. Maybe. It's between that one and the dark one. Makes sense. When I think of this brick, I automatically automatically think of like a vineyard. Um definitely has some grandma details up in here. Got the quilts. And the grape painting. Here's the kitchen. This is so interesting to put as a floor. Um, definitely is like a cottage, actually. This house is definitely a cottage. Rustic, yeah. Cozy kitchen. Cozy little kitchen. Ooh, running. No running in the house, ma'am. Beautiful. Whimsical. Stunning. Delicate. Little girl's room. That painting is so cute, the little rose. How have I never seen like half of this stuff? Ooh, and yes, look at the hat. Look at the shoes, oh my gosh. So that is the little girl's. This is definitely a cluttered bedroom. Is this like a sewing area? Actually, yeah, I think it's just a cluttered bedroom. I love the pillows, have like a lace design. Love the clothes on display. The one in the middle. Oh, they have matching hats. Oh my gosh. And the butterfly wallpaper. Oh, I love how there's a bike in here. 
It definitely adds the, the to the cluttered effect. That is this room. Nice. What is this wall? So this is her relaxing room. I just gotta say, like, what wall is that? What wallpaper? Wood elements and we have a bathroom in here. Ooh, I really like how it's separated by library shelves. Ooh, ooh we got some clothes. <gasps> Cute. And, oh yeah, dressing area. This is a dressing area right here with a lot of outfits on display. So that was her room. My flower shop. Ooh, I'm so excited. This is going to be a flower shop. nice very nice brick Ooh. i love that wallpaper i have that wallpaper in my bedroom in my basement but i think i'm gonna have to change it because it doesn't really go with a city island um floral arrangements Oh, let me exit that mode. Ooh, you can actually... Oh yeah, let me just turn around and show you. Ooh, I really like how there's a lot of wreaths. Wreaths, wreaths on display. Because they make floral arrangements. Yes, look at the walls. Very cool. Ooh, look at this little perspective of me going up. Look at this. One, two, three. Into the darkness. And I do like how it's surrounded by this apple orchard area. Yeah, definitely like a home run business. Code. Oh, a little workshop. I see that. Painting. Yeah. She's definitely accurate with like the pastimes, like the hobbies that people would have. Like they didn't have TV. Obviously, you were gonna paint or read, walk. Um, first of all, second of all, third of all, this is the most pretty, most beautiful fish that I've ever seen. And I still don't have it. I'm still on the hunt. If you are here, you know that I saw that fish on an island and I was like, what fish is that? It's a beta fish, I think. I don't have it yet but it's literally on display. I need a, oh my gosh, that means that she caught three of them. How, tell me, scorpion statues here. This is the, yes, love that fish model too. Museum entrance. And we'll look to the right, stone hedge. I love how that's there. That is really cool. And this is like a lab research area for blathers. <laughs> uh, like for bladders. <laughs> bladder. Blathers. It's just weird to say bladder. <laughs> the word the ladder is a weird word, okay? This is like a laboratory. This is a fort. Um, this is definitely medieval. Let me get a good look. Wait, wait. <laughs> what was that? A medieval fort. Nice. Ooh, I really like how there's armor. Ooh, I actually want this armor. I want to wear that. Mm, is that a recipe? And there's a cannon. Cannon. Let me get a... Pirates come bother. Pirates come bother all the time. Carnival. I... Oh, this is so cool. Balloon hat. <gasps> what? Do you see that? The little... 
Mm, wow. There's gumballs, popcorn, candy. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's such a good that's such a good idea. For like the carnival games. Let me sit. Oh my gosh, I love this. Super cool. So if you don't see, it's like a little stall, and you put like the prizes. It looks exactly like a carnival. And this is a confetti machine, which I don't have either. And a little rides. This is such a cool setup. I love this setup. Little rides. Cotton candy and tickets on the ground. Wow. I- oh yeah, and I definitely know what this is. Little tarot reading. Uh, yeah, fortune teller. I was like, what's the word for it? It's a fortune teller. I love this. I really loved that carnival. It was really cool. Um, here I you sit down and there's a fortune teller. That is so cool. So cool. The carnival was definitely one of my favorite things on this tour. Julian's house. I know that she really doesn't like Julian, actually. She literally went on a big hunt to get him, and then she realized that he wasn't- he wasn't the one- he was not the one for her. So, right now she's trying to get rid of him. Which, it's okay. I think that she said it was like his personality, he's too, like, cocky or something. This is a restaurant. Right next to the museum, a harp. Doom doom doom. Wedding reception? Yeah. Definitely. A lot of seating. And it is mismatched. Chairs. So, and then we have little snacks. And muse and instruments. Musical instruments. I was literally looking at this. It's just crazy how pretty it is. Look at that little trophy case and I never I never use it. Zell's music school. Oh my gosh, so creative. This is Zell's house and this is and it definitely goes with Zell because he's definitely in a band. He would definitely like this area. And crossing that beautiful bridge that we saw in the entrance. Which I cannot stress enough how beautiful that that impression it gives is so stunning. I wonder what that means. I think it means like uh oh yeah, I think she was saying like how it is kind of like a saloon. So like basically where everyone just comes and just has fun. Like yeah. A community center. I was like, what? What does that mean? And then I literally just explained it. Just where people hang out. Okay. Community center. Oh, is that a jail? Police station? Okay. So this is just like a town center where there's a lot of like shops and buildings and businesses. Businesses? Business? Businesses? That's a weird word. Yeah, this definitely looks like a police station. Post office. Very accurate. Need You need a lot of mail. Boxes and packages over here. Wrapping paper. And there's a clock right there. Theater. The theater is super cool. I want to sit in the back, please. Knife act is going on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Magical. This is the magician's act. And... Oh, girl. I think I know what this is. I think they're cutting someone in half, maybe. Because they show knives, and then they have the little box, which is a tomb. But I think it's supposed to represent a cutting in half trick, magic trick the girl okay yeah yeah this is so cool i love the the curtains that is really cool to use 
work shop storage area workshop definitely um a little garage i think or working area and very messy in here looks like my shed so yeah this is definitely a shed working area where you keep all the tools and i like how there's the gear this is a doctor's office this is cool did she get that as a code or is that i'm honestly not sure is that a code or is that in game that's in game in game doctor shirt this is the waiting area and stay safe guys covid is real so yeah we got it's this doctor's office and yeah that's really cool very creative these are like little patient beds and I wish I could go on it, but yeah, very cool. I love the wallpaper used, and it definitely is white, which, yes, every time you go to the doctors, you just see, like, white, 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 light colors. It's definitely a theme in doctor's offices, so. Ooh, cool. The lighting is very dim. The bar, this is exactly how... I would picture a saloon, bar, hangout area, to the pool table, and records on display. Very cool. I just always love places that have like cool lighting in here. It looks very accurate to a bar. Like, come on. You think that a bar is going to have like the lights on? I've actually never seen any bar but on movies and stuff they're always really dark so this is a little champagne glass and you see the wine back there and this is a cool accent piece for the whole room really colorful really pretty that's really pretty and this is like a little shopping it might even be a continuation of able sisters And this is Nook's Cranny. And this is a Valentine's Day setup. She said that it was like themed for that. And she has like a lot of romantic gifts ideas. So that's really cool. It's like Nook's Cranny is going for the season and just putting out all the stuff that is available for Valentine's Day. And there's a ring and Nook's Cranny right there. seating area and writing. I like when there is like a pillow and you can type. The restocking, like storage. Oh, the shipment. The products just got here from delivery in a carriage. Okay, they literally ship it in a carriage. And I do believe that this is the end of the tour. Um, and that is it. If you guys like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I will see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching and thank you for letting me tour your island. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye. And there's a beautiful dance. I literally love that new reaction. It's my favorite, so I'm actually going to do that one too. Oh, it's called Feeling It. Yes, okay. And yeah, so goodbye guys.